Hello my friends and welcome back to Halo 2 Vista Mods. Today, well sorry it's actually night time here now so tonight we are going to learn how to create a flyable phantom as well as making some AI operate the cannons on it. What am I doing? So, fire up Halo 2 as you would Turn down that pesky volume. That keeps happening for some reason. Okay, for this one I am going to be using Delta Halo. <coughs> Hurry up. Sir, we gotta neutralize those turrets! Okay, so fire up assembly, open up delta approach, go to tags, bear with me I just need to make the rocket launcher shoot a phantom instead of the rocket for the sake of this tutorial, of course. Phantom. Quick poke. Okay, so obviously now we've got the rocket launcher to shoot a phantom, which cannot be done at the moment. So jump to the tag. Scroll down until you find the seating tags. Go ahead and unclick Allow Not AI Non Combatants. Change the label to Warthog underscore D. Oh god, that's embarrassing. Change both of these to Phantom underscore P. Scroll back up, locate spawned turret actor, change the column to character, and give it a value of AI generic. Now you also, ah, my apologies, do not follow that step, that is wrong. Okay, that is really embarrassing on my behalf. Just go ahead and make sure the Phantom is actually Sir, flyable at the moment. So just ignore that step about the spawn turret actor, that was very wrong of me. Oh boy. That was embarrassing. Oh dear. Let's make third time for Charma. Bear with me guys, this is this is ridiculous. For once in my life the Phantom is actually spawning in the correct manner. Usually it flips around all over the place. Come on, sweetie. And it never usually kills me straight away. This is very interesting. Ah, there we go. Finally. Okay. So, as you can see, it's not shooting anything. I know, I know. It's a shame. It's a shame. So, let's go ahead and fix that. Go to the vehicle tag, locate objects, vehicles, phantom, turrets, 
chin gun and side gun. We want to change these. Scroll down until you find spawn turret actor and simply change it from generic underscore turret to generic. Scroll down until you find built-in gunner, change it from generic underscore turret to generic. Quick poke. And you want to do the exact same thing for the side gun. Bear in mind, it does actually only show one side gun, but this does actually operate both of these side guns, including the chin gun. So quick poke them into the game. And I think I do actually need to get out of the Phantom for this to work, or restart level probably restart level just to be safe Sir, we got to neutralize those turrets <clears throat> oh, back to this again are we that's annoying oh, come on i was holding e that time Yeah, hey, there we go. And there we go. Apparently all I needed to do was restart the level. And just to get a better view on the fact that it's actually working, I am going to go ahead and use the blue trainer. So that's pretty cool. Very cool if I say so myself. It's very fun. Very overpowered though. Extremely overpowered actually. You can give the turrets the accuracy of the legendary phantom turrets which is absolutely devastating what is that jackal sniper what are those marines doing down there they're just kinda chilling out down there that's cool the controls for the phantom are very simple if you hit control it'll lower if you hit space, it'll float up. Boost is the right button, and it's very quick, as you can see. <laughs> very fast. So it all works, it's very cool. Let me just uh, drag it around here show you how quick the boost is and here we go <laughs> uh, it's crazy fast it's awesome I love it flying off into the distance so long fellas as I say it, it is awesome and the AI it's it's not the best but as I, as I say you can change it you can alter it I don't think anything's spawned here at the moment let me just try and get it to spawn Although the marines are here, so I'm thinking it did spawn something. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Might have to go over here and try and force a spawn. I know there's a spawn point here somewhere. Just there, I think. Hey, there we go. Where are those jackals? Nowhere, of course. Hmm, that's interesting. Nothing spawning. While we're here, here's the infamous switch. Getting to it with ease. I'm not actually sure if that's been proven to actually do anything. Anyway, that pretty much wraps this episode up. It's very easy, it's very fun. Probably next episode I'll be doing the Pelican, and that will include both the Chain Gun and the Rocket Pods. Pelican is quite fast as well. Anyway, that wraps up that episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Again, if there's anything you can suggest or anything you want to see, just hit me with a comment and I'll see what I can do from there. Thanks guys. See you later.